we're going to go in the next 15 seconds here in Leger to start off this Sunday's racing. The under-23 UCI Mountain Bike World Championships is underway. And it looks like a good start from the number five, Noel Buri. There's the number six who's now come to the front. It's Sophie Pedersen of Denmark. Looks like we're all through clean. It's all about the mind games early on the race. Who's going to uh, who's going to try and take control of the pack? Set the pace. All trying to battle through as well. Very physical through these corners, and you've got all these rocks that have been put in for this race as well. We saw them cause plenty of drama in the short track. They will be using that same section at the end of the lap, but it looks like an early lead. See two line choices there. You can go outside, but seems to be the slower line, or you can take the inside line. More direct, but has those rocks in it as well. So as long as you're competent and capable enough, you can make it work for you on the inside line. The pack just starting to spread out a little bit here. And it looks like France Berkier has gone into the lead by the looks of it. it. Looks like I saw a foot off the pedal from uh, Blocklinger of Switzerland there. So that's allowed Berkier to go into the lead. Over the rocks she goes, taking the outside line. And look, she's really putting the power down now. She's making the use of, uh, of uh, that bike to really transfer everything she's got. She's, she's, this, she's, she's taking her chance now. She's looking to impose her rhythm. And that's it, as you say, the others are now going to have to play catch up. We see the Dutch rider, Piazza, starting to make her, make her move. She's come back through from fourth place. She's now into second. They're looking to drive on this group, make the, make the junction back up to, to this to French leading rider. Yeah, it seems to be the, uh, the front three. Well, we seem to have the rider at front, Berkier, in a race of her own at the moment. She's choosing to up the pace. Oh, and it's a line choice here. Each rider going for a different line. You can see the outside line. Easier to put the power down around the outside. It is. Look at that. She's really wound up the pedals there. Peters attacking here now then. As Spezia just getting dropped then into bronze medal position. Will she fall into the clutches of the likes of Sophie Pedersen of Denmark and Ronja Blocklinger of Switzerland? She'll be able to smell blood here. She'll have a, a bronze medal at the World Championships in mind here if she can get past the Ida Spezia of Italy. Here we go. Here's the battle here between Pedersen and Spezia. Is this the move for bronze medal position? Yep, round the outside. Just able to climb a little bit faster than Spezia. Really working those legs there, Pedersen, to get in front. But here's the gold medal. Out front here, Lina Berkier of France in the gold medal position. And the gap coming down another three seconds but, uh, in uh, split number two on lap number five, down to 45 seconds, but three, three seconds off per split isn't going to be enough to pull this one back. This crowd's really going to get behind Berkier now and try and bring her home into the gold medal position. And see her take those coveted rainbow stripes, which you have forever. You wear the jersey for the year, and then for the rest of your career, you get the rainbow strip on, on the on the cuffs of your uh, of jerseys. This is it. This is one of the last efforts she's going to have to do. It's hurting. It's burning, but it's going to taste so good afterwards. Oh yeah, that rainbow jersey is going to make it all worth it after this race is over. She's uh, so close to the finish now, and this crowd is going to go into overdrive when she crosses the line in first place. For another gold medal. There she goes, she's zipping up the jersey. She's going to milk this for all it's worth, and she's got the time to do it. And quite frankly, she deserves it. That's right, great ride as well from uh, Puck Peters in second. But here we go at the finish. It's going to be Lena Berkier, the 2022 UCI under 23 cross country world champion here in Leger, France. It looks like she's keeping going. She doesn't even look tired. She looks like she could do another five laps of this. But here we go in second place for the Netherlands. Coming into the final turns. Great race, smart racing uh, for Puck here today. She just hung with uh, Spezia. And then when the time was right, she attacked and she went and left Spezia behind. And now she's in a race of her own. She's going to come through, take a silver medal for Team Netherlands. And a second place here at the UCI World Championships. And I'm sure the elation of getting a medal 
is going to be almost as, uh, as much as finishing this race, all that maximum exertion, knowing the pain, the pain can stop soon. <laughs> and Pedersen, what a race from her, coming through to take bronze medal here at the World Championships for Denmark. Oh, missing a few high fives there. Well, we won't hold that against her. She's just, you know, put five of the best laps in here. At Leger, and look at the elation of your new world champion, Lina Berkier of France.